Hi everyone, welcome back to Operations Research. So this is our first course, which talks about models and applications. And uh, we, today we're going to talk about linear programming. So I'm Ling Jiekong from the Department of Information Management, National Taiwan University. Today we will spend some time to teach you or to talk about linear programming with you. So linear programming is the focus of today's topic. Uh, the reason that we start with linear programming, of course, is first, it is used a lot in practice. It has been used to solve all kinds of problems in practice, in industry, or even in some any other fields. Okay, It also has very nice, very beautiful mathematical properties. So we don't have time to talk about all of them, but we will talk about them a little bit. So basically, uh, according to my understanding, for most of the textbooks, most of the online courses, most of the physical courses, if the course, the textbooks talks about OR, it pretty much always starts from linear programming. Because it's useful, because it's the first thing that is invented in the field of operations research, because it has nice mathematical properties. Okay, so what we will do is that we will focus on what kind of practical problems may be solved by linear programs? Okay, so in this particular lecture, we focus more on applications, focus more on how to apply linear programming to practical problems. Okay, and the way of doing that, the way of problem solving is through formulation. We want to give you some examples to show you how may we formulate a problem as a linear program, okay? Basically, we can say, as long as you have a problem and you may formulate it into a linear program, then pretty much the problem is already solved, okay? So, as long as we are able to formulate linear programs, we are able to solve a lot of problems. So that's pretty much what we plan to do for today. Okay, so later, the first thing we will do is to talk about terminology. We will give you some definitions for some terms that we will use throughout today's, throughout the whole course. So we need to first have some common languages before we may do some further discussions. So we will also do some other things. For example, to talk about graphically how may we understand the way to solve a linear program. How to distinguish different types of linear programs. Uh, basic situation. Invisible, unbounded, uh, we have different types of linear programs. We will focus a lot on how to formulate linear programs in some simple situations, or when you have really a complicated problem, how may we write the so-called compact formulation? So that's the plan for today.